Welcome to Stars Cars, where we take stars out of their everyday cars and put them into something just that little bit special. I'm here with one of the most sensible actors in Ireland, Dan Gordon. He drives one of the most sensible cars in the world, the Volkswagen Golf. Dan, why do you drive a Golf? Well, I, I'm just very practical, just for being from East Belfast and the son of a shipyard man. Um, I travel a lot, I tour plays. Uh, I would be working up and down in Dublin and uh, touring around Ireland. So I do quite a big mileage during the year. Um, a Golf is very practical, very reliable. Four doors, hatchback, and a tow hook it doesn't get any more practical. Four doors, tow bar and hatchback and it's everything that I need and it's a 1600 diesel as well not that I'm doing major major miles but it's enough to kind of keep the cost down on the running as well um, but just a very comfortable car what have you been doing of late? Oh, well, I've been confined to barracks, but I've been very lucky because I write from home, so I've been continuing with that. Um, and I've done some television work, all been socially distanced. Some of it has taken much longer than it should have because of the, the whole protocols. Um, but I've been kind of sitting on my laurels as well because uh, we had a short film that I did uh, last year called Ruby. And afterwards, we can take a nice wee walk on the Strand. Oh, that always rains. And uh, it has been touring okay. festivals, so even though I'm sitting in the house, I'm working because it's been playing online and so on. And BBC showed it recently, a beautiful piece, a real pleasure to be in. And Kate O'Toole uh, and myself play a, an older couple, um, and he has bought her a present for their Ruby wedding anniversary. Uh, it's not the kind of present that you really would want. And uh, we, we won some awards around the world, and recently, just a couple of weeks ago, we won an award in Barcelona for Best Actor, Joint Best Actor, and uh, I was delighted to see that. So I've been kind of keeping myself busy. How about peace and quiet then? I can do that. Now, if I was to say to you you could have any car, the car of your dreams, what would it be? Well, you see, again, being practical, um, but also the word Lamborghini always impressed me because it was Italian, because it was cool, so ciao and all of that, Bella. And uh, if Lamborghini had a practical car, I would be interested. Dan, you're in luck. Dream sequence. Hey Dan, I've just made your dreams come true. A practical Lamborghini. My own fairy godmother. Ta-da! A hatchback, just like the Golf. Black, just like the Golf. It's just a practical car. 160 grand. And there's no two bar on it. Do you really need it? I will. I put my bike on the back of it when I go inside. Come here, let's get in and have a drive. You'll change your mind. Right. I can't believe it. I love Lamborghini Right, okay. I kind of be expecting a tap on the shoulder from the pillars. There's pictures of stuff here, I don't know what they are. <laughs> so there's a, there's a thing here on the other side when we go that says Anima. I don't know, it's turned me into some sort of animal. It says Strata Sport, Corsa, Sabia, Terra, and Neve. And Neve is written as lit up. It might be some kind of film. I don't know. The, I don't remember the name of it. I think Jeremy Clarkson is very safe in this job. <laughs> so you need a degree to be able to drive one of these. The upholstery is very fine. It's uh, the yellow stitching and very soft. It's probably, dare I say it, Bambi. Uh, what I really like it though is it, it's not shy about saying it's a Lamborghini. It's a Lamborghini written all over the place. And just in case anybody's not sure that I'm driving a Lamborghini. I wonder how the horn works. Oh, that's working. Works. Cabin doors the manual. <laughs> that's me away. <laughs> it's like driving an Ulster bus. <laughs> We're up on real high. Oh, this is good. This is good. I do like this. Really, I just know. Like the cockpit of an aeroplane, or all those buttons do. It's like the James Bond thing. What does this red button do? Whoa! Out the window. Oh, a double sunroof. Oh, there we go. Sunroof up. Oh, sunroof up and open. Oh, look at me. <laughs> I wonder when you stop worrying about the price of the thing when you're driving it. I suppose if you worry about the price. You shouldn't be driving it. And then there's a thing there that says boost. I wonder what that does. It's probably rockets. The 
bottom of the wheel is flat. It's not a completely round wheel. That's an innovation. I've never seen that before. So that lets you know what bits the bottom. See, this is what the Queen does as well. The Queen doesn't have to drive though, again. She's just stepped out. Imagine doing delivery in one of these. <laughs> Delivering Chinese's on the weekend. You wouldn't mind. Well done. What are you taking home? The Golf or the Lambo? It's a tough decision, but I think I'll take the Lambo here. You can have the golf. Oh, cheers. I know a fellow fit me a tow bar.